Hi, this is Drew from Inside Out. As we talk about our pulling mechanics, we want to consider one of the key components, and that's our grip strength. Obviously, there's many ways that we can work on our grip strength, but one of the best ways to obviously affect our grip, as well as our shoulder health, is hanging. Um, obviously, we need some type of bar set up. Um, you can do this at a playground, or at a local gym, or hopefully you have a pull-up bar at home. Uh, with this, we want to make sure that we're not over-gripping. So if I try to grip too much over the bar, as my hand starts to slip a little bit, I can possibly pinch the skin, it becomes uncomfortable. So make sure you maintain a good neutral grip. Your knuckles should be flat to the ceiling uh, or the sky. Um, as, we make, as we grip, we're first gonna start with an active hang. That means I'm pulling my shoulders and depressing them down into position. Um, from there, I'm gonna make sure that I try to pull my ribs, activate my core, squeeze my glutes, and then get into a hang position. Obviously with this, we don't have to do this for a long duration, it can be broken into little chunks. So we could do five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, um, and then do several rounds of that um, intermixed with maybe some mobility work or something else. Um, as we become stronger and we're able to stretch out our time, we can move into passive hangs. So that's where I'm actually going to let my shoulders come up towards my ears. Obviously we get a lot more stretch in there. Um, if you're not as strong though, that can put yourself in a more vulnerable position. And then from that, after our passive hangs, we can work into dynamic hangs. So we could actually go through shoulder mechanics or shoulder positioning, so I can pull, or we can go into more dynamic drills with our shoulders. So try any of those out. 